what goes around comes around. It's very interesting that Rigadi Gashagwa is now accusing some unnamed individuals of dividing the mountain politically. And if you listen to Rigadi and his allies, they are trying to push this narrative that Rigadi Gashagwa is the senior most leader on the mountain, so other leaders should rally around him in order not to divide the community. That seems to be regard this narrative being pushed by his allies. We still remember, and it's a fact, that William Ruto used regard the and the Ndidinoros to divide the mountain. As Uru Kenyatta was showing the mountain the direction, Ruto was using regard and the Ndidinoros to show the mountain a different direction. Why could they not rally behind Uhuru Kenyatta? Because Uhuru was the senior most leader on the mountain, in fact a president. Why could they not rally behind Uhuru Kenyatta? And I'm asking that question because that's the narrative Regard is using that you know, I'm the deputy president, the senior most leader on the mountain. So leaders should rally behind me. Before we dig deep, let's listen to this. Now, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagua has called on Mount Kenya leaders to shun divisive politics and promote greater participation of the youth in productive socio-economic activities. Speaking at Kiambu Golf Club on Saturday night during a Thanksgiving ceremony for golf champion Michael Karanga, Gashagua insinuated that there was a political scheme to divide the Mount Kenya region voting bloc. His comments appearing to point at the ongoing Mount Kenya Kingpin debate beating him and Kiharu Member of Parliament Ndindi Nyoro. Gashagua, however, expressed his confidence that the ploy to divide the mountain would fall, urging the area leaders to focus on development and socio-economic growth of the people. Gashagua was accompanied by several members of parliament from the region who promised to rally behind him as the region's senior-most politician in the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. We have to rally behind one leader who is Ligavi Gashagua. The, other, the others who are trying to divide Mount Kenya. Pharaoh Kikuyus, please. United, we win. Divided. It is very early to start those premature politics. Let us stand together. Let us stand behind Rigiji. And that is the only way we can win this battle. Kila mutu kwa hii dunia ako na nafasi yake. Wazungu wanasema every dog has his own day. Hakuna umbwa itakufa bila kupata mfuba suku moja. And what is yours? Nobody can? Hakuna. So, <laughs> so mimi naona, naona vijara wanaruga ruga, moja ni hii. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? The truth is this. Regarding Ashagwa and his allies, they know for sure Ruto is behind Nidinoro. The only problem is that regarding is not man enough. He is not brave enough to come out in public to challenge William Ruto. He is afraid of the unknown. If he does that, what will follow? Will the ground abandon him for attacking Ruto? What of his position as a deputy president? Is William Ruto going to mobilize the elected leaders to impeach him? Rigadi Gashagwa 
is not very sure of those two possible outcomes. Will William Ruto replace him as the deputy president? Will the ground rebel against him for attacking William Samoy Ruto? I believe that's why Rigadi is trying to play safe. But the truth is, William Ruto is clearly using the Dignoro to kill Rigadi Gashagwa politically on the mountain. Ruto does not want Rigadi to mature up as the mountain political kingpin. Ruto knows that if he allows that to happen, then come 2027, he will be in a very serious problem. Rigadi will demand for some positions. William Ruto would rather have a weak Rigadi Gashagwa as his deputy in 2027 than a strong Rigadi Gashagwa in 2027. He does not want Rigadi to demand for seats. Ruto does not want a strong leader to emerge on the mountain. Ruto does not want Ndidinyoro to be strong on the mountain. He does not want Rigadi to be strong or any leader to be strong on the mountain. Ruto wants confusion on the mountain so that the mountain residents can still see him as their political kingpin. I remember during the campaigns in 2022, Ruto went to the mountain and he told them he was their political kingpin. He wants that to continue. He does not want Mtoto Wanyumbani to actually emerge. That's William Ruto's game plan here. So regarding Ashagwa on his part, he's trying to push this narrative that you know I'm the senior most political leader on the mountain. Let's unite. Let's not divide. That's aimed at the leaders and uh, the residents supporting him because he is the senior most politician on the mountain. But I'm seeing Rigadi being served from the same plate he served Uru Kenyatta. He led a rebellion against Uru Kenyatta. A rebellion is here being led against him. And uh, we've had Rigadi saying that it's still too early. Mm. Forget about these campaigns. While he himself is actually campaigning on the virtue that is the senior most politician or leader on the mountain. If he walks around with this ally saying that let's not divide our community, let's rally behind Rigad because he is the senior most politician, Rigad is actually campaigning, but he does not want the likes of the Dignoros to campaign. That's deceit. Politics of propaganda. Lies. <laughs> yes. And that's largely how Tanga Tanga, all that's how largely Kenya Kwanza is. Their politics is based on deceit, falsehood, and propaganda. Dindi Nyoro and his team have got all the rights to campaign for any seat. If they want to be William Ruto's deputy, so be it. They should be allowed to campaign. I, I strongly believe that's what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. And as time goes by, this fight is going to be more fierce because William Ruto has already looked ahead. He, he does not want regarding to mature as the region's political kingpin. He has to be killed in advance, in good time. And that's what William Ruto is doing with Indinoro. And if you look at the so-called developments in Kiharu constituency, in Indinoro's constituency, it's highly possible that those are the cosmetic developments being spearheaded by the national government. All resources are being channeled to Kiharu in order to kill Rigadi politically, but to build Indinoro. And the same strategy Ruto is using to build Indinoro, he'll also bring Indinoro down after succeeding in bringing down Rigadi Gashagwa. All in all, 
This shows total confusion in Kenya Kwanza government. The mountain is getting a road deal. Instead of getting development, William Ruto is causing political turmoil in the region so that residents can concentrate hmm, with the politics, so that they can divide themselves, that we are the Nyoro supporters, we are the Gashago supporters. Hmm? And as all that is happening, there is no development going to the mountain. The mountain should wake up. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But before even I stop, what we got the day to Uru Kenyatta, that's exactly what is being done to him. Let's meet in our next analysis. And in case you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. If you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.